Sorry, we're already having fun. From Carlito's <laughs> Way to Encanto and beyond, John Leguizamo has brought some incredible stories to life. Now he takes us inside thriving Latino communities in the new series, Leguizamo Does America. Yeah, on his cross-country adventure, the Tony and Emmy winner stops here in New York to spotlight the food, the history, and the culture, which includes salsa dancing. Take a look. This is where a majority of Latin people came to New York City. The place where salsa and music live. For decades, people like DJ Agujita, a.k.a. Raymond Perez, have been keeping these salsa sounds alive. This is culture. This is tradition. This event, this area, this neighborhood. Like I always say, this is not a place where you live. It's a place that lives in you. And now John joins us now. How are you doing? I'm doing great now that I'm talking to you. I know, I yeah. know. It's like, I love that we're acting like we haven't been talking all morning already. Yeah, we're already. talking, we're hanging, yeah. yeah. yeah but Goofing and have a good listen, time. clearly you know we're fans of this show. Oh, you know, likewise. Culture should be celebrated, and that's what you're doing. But yes. have you really thought about the impact a show like this is going to have? I, what's crazy, it's the first one of its kind. with the yeah. oldest ethnic group and the largest ethnic group in America for like 500 years. And there's never been an English show about our culture. So this is the first. And I go around America looking for Latin excellence. Mm -hmm. And we sit down. We, we have a great meal. We laugh. We mm -hmm. dance. And, and it's a party every episode. How, yeah. do, how do we get invited to that yeah, party? I, I mean, you take us to six different cities, <laughs> yes. but you kick things off in New York. Of course, you my origins, yeah. You take yeah. us to Jackson Heights, where your apartment was. How can you put into words how this city has shaped you? Oh, this city shaped me in so many ways. I mean, look at all the great cultures that are here that, mm -hmm. that influence my life. Italians, Jews, uh, you know, Irish, and, and all my Latin diaspora. And uh, just we're, we're quick-witted, we're a little aggressive, but we're straight up. You know, if, if we love you, we love you forever. If we don't love you, yeah, we, you, know, like, you know, douche, douche. Yeah. Are you sure you're not related to my family? I, I might be. You know, you're you're Latin you're and Italian people, we got a lot of yeah. similarities. Yeah, yeah. You know, something we love on this show is food, and you do a great job of highlighting it on your yeah. show as well. Is, is there a meal that, I don't want to say that your favorite, but that, like, will stay with you? Yeah, I mean, there was, I mean the, the East L.A. taco truck was incredible. That. Mm. Uh, that George Lopez took me to, but I thought that there's this thing that land people started doing during COVID was creating restaurants in their own homes. They're doing in LA, Texas, and here in New York. And this chef, Stephanie Bonin, did a Colombian dinner where she grows all the corn and everything in her backyard and then puts it right there in your, in the, oh, it was delectable. Oh, it's a great story. And you have bodegas and Tony Touch. You have so many good people. Yeah. Especially oh my for that God. episode. Tony, Tony Touch a legend. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, we got to talk about how you recently guest hosted The Daily Show. And oh, now yeah. everybody's talking about how you uh, should be the next host. Yeah. Is that something we could see in the future? You know, we're all, it's all up for grabs. It was like a big audition reality show. You know what I mean? That's what it was. Yeah. They're going to finish all the correspondence this month, and then they're going to make their decision. Uh, if you mm -hmm. got offered it, would you say yes? Do you want it? I wouldn't say no. Okay. Hey. 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 We'll we we got to see the commas and zeros. <laughs> Let's talk about that first. I love it. All right. Can we talk about Bruno? No, I'm no. kidding. You know, I'm kidding. We, we, we're not supposed to talk about Bruno, but I, I like the sequel to be we only talk about Bruno. I love it. I love it. You know, it's like such a fun thing having you here today. Like in my house, it's, you know, I'm geeking out about Romeo and Juliet. Carlito's oh, way. Man, my kids are flicks. geeking out about Encanto. One of my favorite questions to ask yeah. actors who I love, if you can go back and spend a day on any of your past sets, what moment would you love to relive? Oh, that's a great, great question. Wow. I got to say, Chef, to me, was one of the most uh, fun yeah. movies I've ever done. It was a little indie film that John but, Favreau yeah. went back to revisit, like, sort of he was having a hard time in Hollywood, and this movie revitalized him. And we, I improvised all the dialogue. I gained 30 pounds. He gained a couple of extra. <laughs> I mean, we're eating the best food all over the country. Yeah. yeah. So fun. It's a great one. You two need to team up. I'm just going to say oh, that. For you guys got to talk after. All right, that's all, all right, let's like, go. Yeah, yeah, get your all right, all right. <laughs> so we got some mutual friends. And I know the EP Oh, I know. Show. We got some mad mutual friends. Yeah, some cool all right. People. So you have returned to the character Jacob Vasquez in For Waco, The Aftermath. Yes. You were nominated for an Emmy. Um, was this in a role you would immediately come back on board for? Oh, absolutely. I mean, working with, with um, that, that great writers, the great creators, and, and, and um, Michael Shannon was was amazing. I mean, he's such a gifted actor, and and all and my scene with him uh, in in this um, uh, sequel was one of some of the best times I ever had on film. He's so natural, so gifted, so generous. It was it was a lot of fun. Yeah, and you're also in the power right now. Oh, What's wow. one thing everyone needs to know about that? The power is revol revolutionary television because it's about young women in the future state 
uh, grow an organ to protect themselves through evolution, and now they have an electrical charge to protect themselves. And 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 men get scared, and they start rounding them up, and they escape, and they take over the world. It's it's wild. Wow. You're such a New Yorker. This is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm a New Yorker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love it. I yeah, love yeah. it. All right, well, you can catch Leguizamo Does America when it premieres this Sunday, April 16th at 10 p.m. on MSNBC. Thank you yeah. so much. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much.